mobile ripoffs, a part of life's richest tapestry. As a kid, you've probably played one of these, whether it be looking up free Minecraft on your parents' iPhone and then downloading an app called Multicraft, then making a video about it on your gaming channel that nobody watches. Now, mobile ripoffs are obviously a scam to just cash in on popular games. I mean, come on, everyone does that. But I think one of the craziest mobile ripoffs is one simply called Baldi's Basics. I'm not talking about the actual Baldi's Basics. The actual Baldi's Basics is not a mobile ripoff, it's an actual game. But there was a mobile ripoff of Baldi's Basics called Baldi's Basics. Which is weird, considering that most of the time, mobile ripoffs try to separate themselves from the actual game. They just try to make themselves sound similar. So, like for example, Geometry Dash would have a ripoff called Geometry Jump or Jump Dash or something similar to maybe get some little kids to get tricked into thinking that it's the actual game. But for some reason, this Baldi's Basics ripoff doesn't do that. So, anyway, here's a bit of backstory for those of you who don't know. So, chances are you already know what Baldi's Basics is. I, I don't need to go over and explain it. The game's kind of goofy, and I guess it led to my goofy 10-year-old self playing this game. Now, I did have a computer at the time, and it could run Baldi's Basics, but I guess my parents thought it was a virus or something, and I mean, can you blame them really? So instead, I had to resort to mobile ports. Now, mobile ports aren't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, there's Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is actually pretty cool that Minecraft is able to run on mobile. I don't know. I just kind of find that cool. It's not actually that impressive. I mean, you can get Geometry Dash, which originally started out as a mobile game. You can play the Five Nights at Freddy's games, Plants vs. Zombies. Like, you got all these cool games on mobile, right? But the thing is that at the time, which was 2018, there weren't any official mobile ports of Baldi's Basics. But when I looked it up on the App Store way back in 2018, there it was. Baldi's Basics, or at least a ripoff of the game. And if I'm being honest, there's a greater chance that this mobile ripoff had a virus compared to the actual game on PC, so I don't know why my parents let me download it. I guess maybe it has something to do with the fact that computers are more prone to getting viruses. I mean, it's kind of hard to get a virus on a phone. I mean, unless you're on Android, but eh, still it's pretty tricky to do that. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So yeah, the odd thing about this mobile ripoff is that compared to other mobile ripoffs, which change things like textures, certain gameplay elements and whatnot, this ripoff seems to be trying to replicate Baldi's basics to a T, but not to great success as we'll soon see. Now, obviously I can't play this since it got taken down. So instead I'll have to resort to showing other people's gameplay, which sucks, but not much I can really do about it. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch someone else play this Baldi's Basics ripoff. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, as you can see from the gameplay here, there are quite a few subtle differences compared to the actual version. For one, the textures are really blurry and look awful. There's no, no way around it. Maybe it has something to do with the game engine, but no, it doesn't have anything to do with the game engine because they're both running on Unity. So this, this, this is on the devs. And also, the walls look like they were poorly stitched together. I mean, look at this. This is not acceptable. But then again, this is a ripoff. What do you expect? Another thing is you can't really look backwards in the ripoff, which kind of sucks because this is actually a pretty useful feature on PC, but I guess you could do the old turning the joystick as you turn around trick, but it's hard to pull off effectively, so that kind of sucks. And then the desks. The desks are much brighter compared to the PC version. Seriously, did someone polish this or put a light in it or something? Because those are some bright desks. Also, the music from the You Can Think pad cuts off after one loop, instead of looping until the problem gets wrong. Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject, math. Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject. I can't believe it. Great job, good one. Also in the You Can Think pad, the font also seems to be different, as instead of being Comic Sans like in the actual game, it seems to be this very generic looking font. It's probably one of the default fonts that the game engine these devs used came with. Anyway, also in this version, I guess the devs must have messed up the proportions or something because it's a bully looks tiny. I mean, look at him. I, I should be the one bullying him. Also, for some reason, playtime is massive. Like, this footage goes by fast, but look at her, she might be taller than the player. 
The last notable change I want to discuss is the ending. On the actual version, once you enter one of the four exits, the walls and doors turn purple. The way it's done in the actual version is that it just swaps out the texture with a red version of the texture, but it works well and adds more tension to the game. It's much better than adding a red tint. Oh yeah, that's what the mobile version does. How fun! Also, for some reason the red tint goes over the user interface, so that's kind of funny. Looking back on it now, it's pretty obvious that this is a fake mobile port. You can see all the flaws that are present that aren't in the actual version. The poorly done textures, those bright tables, gosh why are they so bright? Like the tables look shinier than Baldi's head. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I guess my dumb 10 year old self didn't realize these flaws because I played it and I actually managed to beat it. In this footage I'm showing, Baldi appears to be getting faster as the player collects the notebooks, but the thing is I don't really recall this happening when I played it. It might just be my memories playing tricks on me, but I could have sworn this mobile port felt much easier than the PC version. I don't know. I think eventually I did realize it was a ripoff. Something I noticed is that in all the videos I watched of other people playing the game, the Baldi jump scare was different from the one on the mobile version. I also think I noticed the different things like the you can, you can think pad music cutting off instead of looping. Eventually, my parents did realize that the game was probably not a virus, so I got it on my computer, but I still had that mobile version on my phone. I must have forgotten about it or something because it just kind of lay there dormant. That is until one fateful day when I was looking through my phone and I noticed an odd looking app. Hmm, what is this? A guy with a green sweatshirt holding a ruler. Oh my god, is this Baldi? <laughs> Curious, I opened my phone to find that the Baldi's Basics app I downloaded had apparently been updated. And it now looked like this. Is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! Squidward! Safe to say, I was quite taken aback. This isn't Baldi, this is Cheesecake the Cheesecake! <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I had to investigate further. Playing the game, I was greeted with a much deeper voiced Baldi. Oh, hi. Welcome to my schoolhouse. Yeah, it, I'll just refer to him as Fake Baldi since we all know what the real Baldi looks like. Everything else seems to work fine, the textures were still pretty poorly put together, and the desks are now even shinier than before. <laughs> yeah. Um, the You Can Think pad hasn't changed too much from the previous version, just with different textures and... Oh my god, what is that music? Yeah, for some reason the You Can Think pad music appears to have this strange distortion effect added to it, and it kind of sounds uncanny in a way, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Now it's time for... Let's just investigate this further, shall we? Something funny I noticed is that while all the textures appear to have a more modern looking style, the controllers still use the old style from the older version, so I guess the devs were too lazy to change those too. Getting a problem wrong and actually starting the game works the same as usual, this time with a fake Baldi trying to get you, but we also get introduced to our other fake characters like a fake bully who looks very fit and healthy. We also have the principal whistling, which sounds... interesting. The whistle seems to have gotten the same treatment as the You Can Think pad music, being distorted and sounding kinda creepy. As for the principal itself, he's just some guy, not much more to really say about him. His voice also seems to have that odd distortion effect added to it, though. Playtime is instead replaced with this 3D model of a little girl on a jump rope, and her voice is, well, you just gotta hear it for yourself. As if the original wasn't ear grating enough. First prize is also different, being this robot that looks like he's about to hug someone, which I mean, he's like that in the original too, but this one is more high tech looking. There's also something very wrong about first prize turning smoothly instead of choppy like he did in the original game. As for the sock puppet, it's, well, a sock. It has a mohawk though, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know why it has that, but it does. We then get to the greatest design of all in this game. There's a reason I saved the best for last, because you aren't ready for what I'm about to show you. Goddess Sweep has got to be one of the greatest designs I have ever seen. Look at this man, this face, this thing. It looks like it just drank three bottles of Red Bull. <laughs> I can't even begin to describe this beauty that I've laid my eyes on. It's too glorious. 
uh, anyway, what, what were we talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, Bald, Baldi's Basics ripoffs. So, yeah, it seems as though this ripoff of Baldi's Basics changed the textures and sounds. But why? I think it might be due to copyright. Obviously, the game was pretending to be Baldi's Basics. Heck, it even tricked my 10-year-old self, and probably a lot of 10-year-olds, into thinking that it was an actual game. Looking at it from afar, it does look like the actual game, and, and I can see how one could easily mistake it for that. My theory is that to avoid copyright from Miss Man 12, the developers changed a couple of textures and renamed it to Baldi's Basics 3D. This is probably the most likely explanation, and it makes a lot of sense. Although, after seeing the app, my now slightly aged up 11 year old self uninstalled the app because 1. I already had the game on PC. 2. There's a clear as day that this is just a ripoff, not an official port. And 3. Everything in this game kinda creeps me out. <laughs> Except for God of Sweep, of course. Copyright is probably also the reason why the sounds were changed. I mean, I, I still don't understand why they had to distort the voices and music the way they did, but I, I can understand why they changed it in the first place. So yeah, I think it's safe to say we can put an end to this mystery. It had a pretty clear explanation, and obviously it was just people trying to make money off of Miss Man's hard work. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Or so we think. No, the rabbit hole goes so much deeper. Well, it's not that deep, but there's a little bit more I want to talk about. In the ripoff, if you go into the principal's office, you could see the character isn't called Baldy. He's called Breddy. Five, Five Nights at Freddy's! <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. That, that was bad. In fact, it seems as though all the characters had different names. The principal is now called Two Correct Director. I don't know what that means. The sock puppet is called The Talking Glove. Playtime is called Girl Rope. First prize is called Hug Robot. The bully is called Hooligan. And then Goddess Sweep is called Cleaner. Now, this is probably also to avoid copyright since using a different name would help with that, but on the App Store, the game is still called Baldi's Basics 3D, not Breddy's Basics 3D. So, if the makers were trying to avoid copyright, they would probably have to change the title of the app too, not just a small texture in a single room of the game. Now, obviously, the game eventually got taken down from the App Store and Google Play Store, but that left a couple of people wondering, what happened to Baldi's Basics 3D? Or as they like to call it, Breddy's Basics. Well, as it turns out, there's now a sizable amount of people who have created some sort of community based around this niche ripoff of Baldi's Basics. Whether it be people trying to find archives of the game, or even going as far as including Breddy in a Friday Night Funkin' mod. Yeah, this stuff goes deep. Some people have found models of Breddy and the other characters, and they even managed to upload it to 3D modeling sites. So now you could use Breddy in your SFM animations if you want. It's insane how some people have dedicated this time to find old crappy bubble ripoffs, find 3D models of the characters, and then create drawings of the characters for an FNF mod. And probably making this Breddy's Basics community seem a lot bigger than it actually is, but it's still kind of funny how this ripoff spawned all this. As a closing PSA, Please don't download any of these ripoff games. They could be dangerous, especially on sites you don't trust and from people you don't trust. These apps are meant to be deceitful and downloading them is just putting more money into these people's pockets. So instead of supporting these types of people, instead you should support genuinely talented creators like Mistman12. So I'll be sure to link his stuff in there and you can check out Baldi's Basics Plus if you want to support him. It's better than downloading these ad-ridden, low-quality ripoff apps, you know? Even though Baldi's Basics 3D was taken down, there are still a ton of more ripoffs. And also, Baldi's Basics already has an official mobile port, so just download that if you want to play the game on your phone. Anyway, yeah, this was kind of crazy. I really just wanted to talk about this since I started getting back into Baldi's Basics, and I remember playing this back in 2018 and thinking it was kind of funny. So that's why I kind of had a lot of these moments where I would recount my times playing the game when I was 10. So yeah, see you guys.